Hi, in this video, we're gonna look at how to start a conversation in sales. Hi, I'm Matt Elwell of the Elite Closing Academy, and today I'm gonna to share with you a beautiful little two-letter word that when implemented into your questions, starts sales conversations like never before. Today we're gonna to look at a beautiful little word, it's only two letters, that when utilized, start amazing sales conversations. So the little word, get your pen and paper out, is the little word called if. And what is amazing about if is that it's pretend. When you go into the if world, it's pretend, and you fire up a part of the human being's brain where recollection lives, where imagination is, where visualization lives. And by the way, as a salesperson, you must have this in your locker. What I love about if as well, you have to challenge yourself to come up with some great if questions. So you're stretching your thinking, and by the way, salespeople, it takes 12 hours to go rusty. And actually, the truth is, international class sales requires you to stretch your thinking, to be able to open your prospects thinking to what might possibly happen in the future. So let's look at some if questions, and let's look at how immediately if takes you into a pretend world. If I could show you a way to increase your sales conversions, and in particular to close more deals, what's the first thing we'd need to talk about? That is an example of how if can open your prospects thinking to a point where when they answer the question, they will hit on their problem, their challenge that's linked to what you do. Think about the question, if there was a way that I could show you how to improve your sales and increase closing deals, what's the first thing that we'd need to talk about to make it happen? That is so powerful. And again, I wanna challenge you right now. If you've got a team or if you're a salesperson on your own, how often do you ask a question that fires up imagination that when answered links you to being a possible solution to a problem that they may or may not have in a pretend world where if lives. If is really powerful place to be. If we could involve the world's greatest XYZ, who would we need to involve to solve a problem for you or to get an even better result with your XYZ? Again, all the time you're looking to ask questions that open up the imagination of your prospect and allow them to really challenge internally what they think they actually need to solve the problem that they've got. So There's a very, 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 very powerful aspect to uh, prospecting, to having closing questions to your sales process. If is a part of the brain where the future actually doesn't exist and it opens up imagination. So I'm gonna challenge you right now. How many if questions can you and your team ask right now? And look, a great way to do this is to, to role play. Like I've just done with you, I've just given you two if questions. If there was one thing right now that me and you needed to talk about in your sales process that when answered, got you an even better result and increased conversions, what would it be? You see how that question is totally and utterly how you should sell. When you're asking really powerful questions and your prospect is in choice, so they have to choose how they answer it, that's when you're controlling the sale. And that's why this particular video, when mastered in your sales team, will create so many opportunities will create so much information that's helpful to you in your sales process. It's actually unbelievable. If is the key question. Write it down. How many questions can you ask that start with if in your sales process? If you enjoyed that video about the power of if questions, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you've got a team, make sure they subscribe too. Crucially, ping the notification bell so you can get all the free training and check out all the other videos. Thank you.